Yeah, this is my 1985 Suzuki Jimny 1300 or SJ413. I want to go over by why, in brief, HHO works in a simple, carbureted, non-computerized, managed engine, non-computer managed engine. And the reason is, there are a number of inefficiencies in the engine. You're not actually extracting um, more energy out of nowhere. What is going on is that you are causing the existing air fuel mixture to burn up more efficiently. That is why, well, I'll say that's the theory why, but I'll tell you this. You could theorize up your yin yang all fucking day. I had this Jeep for 28 years. I know the mileage on it. It never got anywhere near this mileage until I put this device on it. I did not spend $5,000. I spent $165. Plus, I had this gauge here. The amp gauge, which you can see it's hardly pulling any amps. I think it's not even pulling 5 amps. I could pull good 25 amps on this no problem you can still you can still still see there's got fairly decent production coming out of it even at five amps it's hardly pulling anything off the electrical system but there is definitely a significant boost in mileage now the engineers and the theorists can freaking argue all freaking day I had some yo-yo screaming at me about I spent $5,000 on all this shit for HHO and it did not work. It's a farce. Just like the batteryizer, you are behind. I'm not behind the batteryizer one way or the other. I'm going to find out. I'm curious about it. I don't think it's going to be a total freaking bullshit bust like the way the people are screaming about it. And it's not going to be, well, it's like marketing, you know. They, they market this vehicle as doing this much miles per gallon. They market the CJ seven as doing so many miles per gallon it doesn't get that i mean all manufacturers are guilty of bs marketing but it doesn't mean the value for the product is bad now i would definitely not spend five thousand dollars on hho on a vehicle no way in hell this was 165 dollars i had to weld up this bracket and I have it mounted to the engine, which I kind of like because it shakes up the solution, the vibration of the engine. I had the gauge already. It's only a $10 gauge. So maybe if I bought the gauge and I bought, I don't know, maybe it's definitely under 200 bucks. And it's a heavy duty unit. But I know for a fact, whatever the theory is behind it, it works. And it works well on non-computerized vehicles. Um, if you have a um, computer managed uh, fuel air mixture, uh, you probably need to get something that puts out pure hydrogen instead of HHO, where they divide out and they take out the oxygen because it screws with the O2 sensor. But being that it is on this car, there's nothing on it, it's an 85. I've had it virtually since new. I know the mileage on this thing inside out. You can tell it's warming up right now. It's, the idle's picking up. Uh, it's it's never gotten this kind of mileage. Never. I, I even when I was driving it pretty rough around town, not taking it easy at all. I got 27. That's you know. You look at the EPA. It'll tell you yeah, it's at 27. Go look at fuelly.com in the real world. Around town, when you're driving it in real world situations, it doesn't get 27. And I've never got 27 on this, only under the best circumstances. Uh, usually I get 22, 23. That's what everybody else gets, though. So, like I've said, I've owned this thing for, well, 28 years, nearly 30 years. And if people want to argue that it doesn't work, fine, they can argue it doesn't work. I know it didn't cost me an arm and a leg, it's like $5,000. It cost me $165. And I say the theory why it works is this. You're not adding more energy. You're not pulling energy out of nowhere. That's impossible, we know that. What is happening is, the existing air fuel mixture, that little bit of hydrogen that's going in there is causing it to burn more cleanly, more efficiently, and more completely. So therefore, what's going on is, you're actually just getting more out of the actual existing gasoline air fuel mixture that's already there. 
by just adding that little bit of hydrogen. Okay, you know, if people want to argue the theories all day, I'm not going to argue with them, but I'm going to say one thing. It works for me. It works for me, period. So, and it sure as heck, well, shit wasn't no $5,000. It's 165 And I don't sell it. It's just saying it was, a, I look for the best deals around. New idea, and this is not a new idea. And if you want to really look into uh, what's been going on on the internet with HHO, there's a number of people that swear it does work. I'm not the only one. It doesn't work right with computerized vehicles. But then again, if you have it set up right with pure hydrogen coming out instead of HHO, where you're not adding oxygen to, pull, to screw up that O2 sensor, it probably will work. This uh, plastic on here is just to seal this cap to make sure there's no leaks. That's all that's on there for. You know, I don't care. I'm not fussy about it. I mean, I could change the gasket in there or something, but that thick plastic bag works just fine. Good production. You can see it coming out through the line. Good production. Pulling 5 amps, 4 amps, 5 amps. I mean, I can, I can make this cook if I really want to, but just that alone makes a difference. It gives me at least a couple more miles per gallon. Easy. Easy. Say no, fine, you can say no, I'm using it, I've been using it, and I know better. So, that's the way it goes. It's called the world of real practicality, hands on. You know, you grab a wrench and you do it, you don't sit there with a fucking pencil and a paper and you argue back and forth, because these people got nothing better to do. I'm in a world, I'm in a world of reality. I actually do the job and test it. The real way, in the real world.